I mean, this is just getting real ugly down bottom burrow strike. Not going to latch, and Shadow's going to be able to scamper away. But um, look at what the Alchemist is able to do. You place so much importance on the Alchemist getting his farm, but he's just really struggling right now. Not even close to an armlet. It's not even his fault. Like His, his lane is just real bad. Like, there's nothing he can do against the Huska. Huska Ayo. Like, this is the expected outcome if you leave the alchemy. Oh, could finish. see something going down there. Poison touch starting out onto art style. Gonna get roared up there to level 6 from Beastmaster, but there's gonna be a nice burrow strike coming in, connecting up to the state of blast coming out from Shen's creep. They are able to go through, pick up the alpha wolf and now general trying to scamper away to Nako to save the day. Is it gonna be enough though? There's gonna be no epicenter there onto general, so I think he just tries to burrow strike his way to freedom. He gets through too, but another poison touch should be slowing him down. I think they just leave him for dead. He buys out and will get slapped down. Um, and they're ready to fight. Wrap around general. Finally has that epicenter pickup. Maybe they look for something on the back lines. There is gonna be that. Chemical Rage coming in. They're going on to Innocence. They will bring in the Razor Ultimate. Oh my gosh, Jitya Ra with a fraction of health. Still able to go through and get the picks. Shallow Grave can only keep Ice Eyes alive for so long. He's just going to go get slapped up by the Spirits. And finally, Razor picks up a double kill on the back lines. General just farming up. I mean, this is Navi's Christmas right here. They are getting everything they want to out of the lane. They can lane alone, so this oh. is the right play by Wings. They're going in here. They are going to be able to get the jump. They will go in. Immediate Roar popped out. Dendi not going to be able to deal with this one. And there's going to be the Hand of God to try to keep him alive. He goes to the Plasma Field. And they are going to go in the relocate. Did Ra laying in the name of Beyond. He's got nothing there to stop him. The Shadow Grave comes out from Ice Eyes, but now he's going to be the target. Gets Burrow struck up and a couple more Flaming Spears. That's going to be a very, very dead dazzle. And just the raw burn damage is going to be able to go through. Oh my golly gee. They're just killing everyone over here. Oh dear. Shadow goes in. He's trying to man up there with the rage and he's going to end up burning down most likely. He hops into a buddy just to save his life. But this is underneath the tier four. Yeah. Oh my god. Navi! <laughs> Navi are doing it! I mean, what was this down to? Was this down to Navi just stomping all their lanes? Their early aggression on the Sand King? What was the little golden nugget that made this game such a success? Winning the lane so hard, definitely with the Ayo and the Chen. And we, you have a Huskar, when you win your lane that hard, you're just going to be able to siege the enemy base very, very early into the game. Relocate, gonna just take the Yara out. Free Fountain Trip for you, buddy. And come back and siege another high ground. Yep, it's basically just a free reset on the fight. I mean, that does mean there's no Gosh. relocate, but... 15 minutes, one set of Rex, and they're going for a second <laughs> set right now. There's already over 15,000 net worth advantage going in Na favor of Navi. Navi just executing brilliantly and not allowing the Wings lineup to come online. Oh, going in. They are going to be able to not watch the Burrow Strike, but oh my. Going to be a life break from Zitya Ra. He's going to be torn between targets, but he doesn't matter. He can kill them all. Going in, the Plasma Field coming out of the Shallow Grave is just going to be expended to keep the life further alive. But another set of racks should most likely be going the way of Navi. There's nothing they can do. Navi is just way too strong at this stage of the game, using their timings to their advantage right now. Just fully understanding that they need one or two items on every hero, and they're so damn strong right now compared to what Wings are at this stage of the game. Yeah, I, mean, I think Wings were holding, just hoping to have that landing phase that they can just hold out, but unfortunately not going to be doing any of that. These Master's final breath is that primal roar, but it's not going to be doing enough. Meanwhile, on the back line, the RPG down Shadow, the GG comes out. Sitting there looking for the blink crush, it's going to scout out the Chen army walking on through. And they go for the... Oh! oh nice dust reaction! They are going to get two into the Burrow Strike. Face Beyond sitting there looking for the crush up, but it's only on the Chen creep. able to follow up the arrow, short range, but connects to the Face Beyond. They are able to go through and get the double star storm prog, oh and that's going to be Dendi on a killing spree. Nighttime popped out. They do see General go in. They are able to get the coconut bounce. Everything dropped here onto the Sand King. There is going to be a sun coming back out. So General might be able to leap away to freedom. He's got the Malik on him. Okay, there's a meld strike. And that will be the kill. They are able to go get the jump out. Dendi trying to leap away here, but it might not be enough. And if he's chasing down, has the void in three seconds. Instead, going to be changing targets uh, on art not, style. You're not getting out of this art style. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying, man. He's going right back in. He's just facing his fear right in the face. Is able to go through. And oh, it's unfortunate. Here comes Oh, the smoke coming wrap around. Ice Ice is going to get tracked up. They've got to know something's going down. His blink he could be going back on in. Now, Saneko is going to be stunned up. Moonlight Shadow can only keep the invis for so long, but look at Ra's damage. He's now getting surrounded upon by two heroes, but Marana from the high ground able to keep the pace of the yeah. fight under control. They were able to get two track kills there. So that was big for Navi. Getting that two track for their team, and Ursa is going to complete his blink, and he's trying to run in to get the a nice stalker. Taking a look at the replay Ooh, here, hopefully. He's gonna get the nice stalker. Right, oh so my god. Ursa gets another kill in the meantime, but looking back at that burrow strike, unbelievably nice angle there from General. I mean, Klink's got the tower, but that's still not enough yet. General's gonna be able to go through. Will he actually live through this maledic tick? Can they get the deny off? He oh, goes the in. He's bottling him. One more tick. Will he actually be able to live through this? I don't think. No, bottle. he falls down. There will be a crush to follow up. Dendi is gonna be sitting back. They have Saneko going in. There will be a Shuriken toss bouncing around. They get the mini stun on the face beyond, but they can't follow up. I mean, you see the posture up here. Everyone going to be starting to charge in. Shadow goes in, consumes up a creep. 
And they're wrapping around. They're trying to figure out where their jump point is. But again, it's pretty difficult. You've got Night Stalker just ambling around. No blink on him. Certainly no Aghanim Scepter. There's going to be a crush coming in. But oh, immediate follow up. They're trying to go through. They get the Mouth Strike there. But Tinker Rod is manning up, going back in. Coconut bouncing every which way. Moonlight Shadow comes out. There's going to be dust and heals and max every which way. Seems like Navi aren't deterred. They're going back in. The arrow not going to latch. Drew can toss. Oh, it's just bouncing around the entire team. Deep yeah. popping every which way. That's gonna... Uh, oh. oh, Blink in there, going in. They're trying to just completely punish innocence. It's another track kill going the way of Na'Vi. Task still bouncing, but Na'Vi feel very firmly in control here. They have just got double damage runes onto the Marana as well, so she is hitting so gosh darn hard. And they're yes, starting to get way too much out of the map right now. Oh, Sand King may have to 1v1 as a Templar Assassin just wants to get a pass away from this. They're over the crash. So General going to get further delayed. He's so close to his oh, blink, but no. isn't going to get it this time. Hand of God coming out a little bit late. Tinker Rob might be able to get some revenge going in as he is able to go. Oh, the arrow. This snipe from the low ground. The mid lane. We're going to have that Moonlight Shadow coming out, but up top is where the real action is going to break out. Oh. Dendi is in serious trouble. Going to get dropped. Death oh, warning. Cleans up the Marana. Oh, did Yara going to get slowed up a little bit by that psionic chat. Fortify comes out. Meanwhile, there is going to be the crush in. They're going to try to do something there. The Sand King trying to get something done. He's still got his Epi. Not going to channel that up just yet. Did Yara trying to get things going there. Track kill onto Ice Ice. They are able to get that done. General lives through this somehow. On the back line, Seneko may have to give his life for this, but Bounty still gets his worth out of that. And there could be another track kill. Innocent's going to get netted up by the Chen. Looks like he might get away for now. Did Yara going to get slowed. Meanwhile, oh, General with the epicenter going to connect onto the two. They're looking for the kill onto the TA. And he got Did Yara just sprinting after that Night Stalker, another track kill going the way of Na'Vi. Now Shadow looking to man up onto Dendi. One more hit, is it gonna be enough? No! They end up losing the clinks there. Triple kill for Dit Yara going around, and he's still got the Aegis. Well, they're wrapping around, the smoke's gonna break. They know someone's nearby, the arrow gonna go through, just connects on the little centaur. And now it looks like Ice Ice is gonna be going first one down. He tries to channel his ult, but he's gonna get picked up. There is gonna be a dust popped out. General gonna get silenced up, he still has his epi to go through. And there's gonna be the BKB shown off from the TA. Can he still get her down through the BKB? First BKB charge used, and it's gonna be a waste as Faith Beyond. Now gonna be slithering away on the defensive. It's gonna be an Earn Strike coming out, and that's gonna be a Burrow Strike connecting. Net Grief going in. They drop the Slardar. Three dead for now. They're looking for another kill. Innocence is gonna be sitting there looking for the TP, but too much damage comes out from Navi. They get four there for the smoke. Hell, I'd say that's worth. There's Hineko gonna be the scout. We'll end up popping the smokes right there as they walk in. They know Hineko's there. There's gonna be a nice blink because they get the crush off. Face Beyond going in. Shadow number the DKD just doing so much damage. The Roshan will go down to the Dire. Ursa gets a second life. There's gonna be the Epicenter going in there. He should be able to do a fair amount of damage to Ice Ice. He gets the Melody Drop. They're gonna go in with the Star Storm, and that's gonna be enough. In the back line, the Hand of God trying to do what they can, but they will end up losing the Sand King. Now, Dick Yara running around wants to get some blood for himself. Will find the Witch Doctor to get the slow off onto Innocence, courtesy of the Fuse Blade. And the track here, that's gonna be another piece of gold going their way. Navi able to get two for the prize of one right now. I don't think they can go in and get Faith Beyond. He's just too far away. But still, Navi getting the positive out of that engagement. Smoke up. This is going to be a huge play. If Wings can actually get the jump, they get the crush on the two. Dig it raw in the back line. Looking for the follow up, but immediate pick up there. Blasting away the Chen. Dendi trying to do the camp ghost after. Leaps himself up to high ground. But Dig it raw. Going to be left to deal all the damage here, but it's getting too low. They are going to pop the Aegis and the Ursa on the back line. Ice Ice going to get tracked up, but will he live? True can toss polishes him off, so at least they're getting something for the troubles. But it seems like Navi, one step forward, one step back, and they're not making any big progress there. They are going to get the kill onto the Clinks there. That's a nice position one for their troubles. And can they actually get the spell? Oh no, not able to get the arrow in time. Yep. Oh, oh. Burrow's direct connect. If they can get the kill on the TA here, that's gonna be huge. He has the Revenge, he's trapped up. This gonna be a bounce going every which way. Maledict connecting up to a couple of heroes on Navi. The Death Ward doing a lot of damage. Dendi could be in some trouble. There's gonna be a crush onto three. The follow up there is gonna be, they cut the BKBs with Shadow getting blasted apart. Little Skeleton Man falls back down to the grave and there's gonna be the Epi coming back on through. Zan King able to bring in so much damage and look at the crush. Gonna be a futile effort. Wings, they drop three. And it looks like there's gonna be no buybacks in the field for now, that's going to be at least this tier 3 tower going down, most likely the racks as well. Oh, they're going in. They want to immediately punish the Templar Assassin who just respawned. They got the track. They got the bounce. That's going to be two more dead. A complete wipe. And there's going to be a TA buyback if they absolutely need it here. But I think Na'Vi may have just secured themselves a 2-0 in this series. They are showing no signs of leaving Wings of Face anytime soon. Always beating the fights cleanly. Oh, the Pearl Strike connects. Poor Shadow doesn't give, even get a moment of reprieve before he's slapped out once over. more. I, I believe so, Winter. The GG coming out. Wings, I mean, they are doing a phenomenal job trying to play their best. The draft, I feel like, responded a lot better to Navi's playstyle, but Navi's still feeling incredibly strong. Look at that teamwork there. High five and all around. It's got to feel good to be Navi right now.